Gary, congratulations. Off and running here at the World Grand Prix. It's been a, it's been a while since we've had, had you in a winner's interview because you always say, I'm not really fast, but that still means something to you, doesn't it? Yeah, to, listen, to win is great, you know, but either way, <laughs> I wouldn't care. And I really I really do mean it. You know, uh, yeah, I played darts a long time now. It's, it's, it's more than a hobby than ever. You know, and it's just, yeah, when they go well, they go well. And when they don't, they don't. And that's... That's where my darts is now, you know, so there's days that I play phenomenal and there's days that I play absolutely not phenomenal. Well, the year itself has been incredible. Your numbers are getting better and better. You're playing better than when you went back-to-back -back world titles. The numbers are saying that. What's spurred you on this year in particular to, to go to that next level? You know what, it's to prove a point and it's to myself. It's not to you boys, it's not to the supporters, it's not to the dart players. Because, you know, when I was practising with Ryan, I told you I was playing well. And people think, oh, Gary and Ryan still... Last time we practised, and you'll have to... Qu I reckon it was January. That was the last time we had a pra practice session, you know. So, uh, but this one's been all right. You know, I've been up in Scotland doing charity nights, been across the island, and it's, uh, it's been good. It's, it's worked a treat. The floor form has been sensational. What, what we've seen, big ton plus averages, more double than, than anyone else. And how do you then take that game onto the stage? Because if you can replicate that, yeah, it's there's more TV titles no, there for you. Big word being if, you know, but it's been a while since I've been on stage. It doesn't happen very often nowadays, but uh, no, listen, I'm, I'm, I love playing the, the Pro Tour. You know, we set the table over a crack and laugh. To be honest, TV tournaments, your World Series, your prep, they don't in interest me. You know, I'd rather just play Pro Tours. You know, sit and have a laugh with the boys. A game of darts, you know, and to me that's that's the way I'm now. So anything else is a is a bonus. What would it mean though to get your hands on another TV title? I'd have to say no to the Premier League, wouldn't I? So it's your worst nightmare. No, I, listen, I'm I'm here to play darts. You know, there's some cracking dart players out there. You know, I've, I've over the last six months I've noticed a lot of players coming through. You know, I mean, you, you talk about your Michaels, your Joes, your Michael Van Gerwens. But there's boys sitting right in the tail end of them, and if they don't sharpen up, they're in big trouble. I don't care because I'm that far down the rankings, it doesn't matter now. But uh, they boys need to, to watch out because these, these young boys are, you know, you've got Luke, Luke Humphreys, best player in the world, no doubt. You know, you should do a bit more interviews with Luke because he deserves it. I mean, what he has won over the last 12, 18 months, he deserves it. You know, Luke Littler's coming through. Firing all guns, you know, you've got uh, Mike Tedeka, cracking player, you know, you've got all these boys coming through. So that's is going to be in a funny place in the next couple of years. Okay, many congratulations. Thank you, Philip. Gary, you've obviously been around in the game a long time. Do you feel that like the standard at the moment overall is, is better than it's ever been? I don't know. I'm showing them up and I'm 53. So what does that tell you? Not quite yet. <laughs> but uh, no, they are. The youngsters are coming through, you know, they're, they're hungry. I've, I've done a few exhibitions, a few charity nights in Ireland and I'm playing 9 to 13 year olds. And honestly, it's not about how they score, it's how they throw the darts. The throw's perfect and they can only get better with the throwing. And I think that's just an Ireland. So you've got all the other countries that's going to follow shoot. And I, I blame Luke Littler for that. There's a new generation, a younger generation. And honestly, darts in the next, well, what, the nine, so next five to six years is going to be something else. You mentioned about having a laugh and enjoying it on the Pro Tour again. Do you feel that that's had a big impact on your game and, and the numbers that you've yeah, I've never really cared anyway. You know, I keep telling you boys that and you just don't listen to me. But I go there and I have a laugh. You know, we sit at the table, you've got Michael, his old man. We sit with Darren Beveridge, Matt Denon, Ian White, and we have a proper, proper giggle. You know, as it should be, you should, you should have a laugh. It doesn't matter what your job is, you need to have a laugh. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. It's laid back, you know, it's a game of darts at the end of the day. Do you still feel that there's another major or two in you? I don't really care. I really don't. You know, I'll just keep playing darts, playing darts, until you write me off again and then I'll have to start playing darts again. You know, but uh, nah, listen, I, I play. I'm, I'm playing well. Like I say, when they go well, they go well. And when they don't go well, I'm, I'm in trouble. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Gary, talk to me about where these incredible darts have come from. You say you've not had those practice sessions. Is it just? Well, if you ask Ryan, every night we play, I play better than that. Mm. Ask him. So the next question is: next time you talk to Ryan, ask Ryan. I'm saying no more about it. You ask him how well the darts go when we have a practice night, and uh, yeah, they go, they go like that all the time.
we know there's a lot of tournaments coming up around the corner in the PDC. I mean, your motivations, I mean, do you expect to, to be at all these tournaments going into the world? Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> nah, I don't know. You know what I mean? If we get through to the, the Grand Slam, that would be, that's my favourite tournament of all tournaments, you know. Worlds, I know I'm in. And we'll just, we'll just, we'll take it for there. You know, it's there's no pressure on me. I come and go, you know, I pick and choose, and uh, it's working just now. You talked a bit about the young players that are coming through at the moment, and the sort of youngsters you've seen over in Ireland as well. We sort of skip maybe five, ten years down the line. What do you think the, the landscape of darts is going to look like? Well, about, I reckon like, you'd have to ask Ian White five, six weeks ago. I played with, uh, eight months ago, I played with a young German lad, nine years old. Just as good as Littler. Count just as good, and honestly, eighth. not a word of English he spoke, but by God, this boy was something else. Nine years old. Shouldn't be playing darts like that, nine years old. Maybe 29, but not nine. But uh, yeah, they're everywhere now. You know, uh, like I say, it's a, it's a very cheap game to play, and you can do it at home. You know, dart board, set of darts, knock yourself out. You know, it's, it's, it's one of the sports that uh, you can have time at home and learn how to play it. Think a lot of that is down just to the impact that Oh, definitely, he's, def he's definitely kicked on a, a younger generation. You know, by the time they boys are on stage, I'll be well gone. I'll be like, see you later, yeah. I'm offski. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it can only get better. You know, to what heights, I do not know. Will the darts be as good as what they were in 2014, 15, 16? That'll take some beating, even with the talents on the go there now. That's what you've got to remember. You know, you've got to take then and now. So that's a good big one. Gary, we've spoken about the performances we've seen this year. Is it a stretch to say that you are the most feared man on the Pro Tour at the moment? No, no. Go back two years ago, everyone wanted to play me, you know, because I was absolutely cack. Can we say cack without getting fined? It's cack a word. I think it's all right. <laughs> That's all right, yeah. Uh, you know, I didn't want to play darts, I don't want to travel. You know, I've got, I've, got, I've got a lot of things going on. I've got my young family, you know, it's, uh, it's, there's a lot of things going on. I mean, these boys, next year's even bigger, you know, it's even more on. You know, they've all got young families and wives and that. You know, it's, it's going to be hard on them. It's got to take its toll. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's a job and they've got to do it. You know, if they want to make a penny and pay the bills, it's, it's got to be done. We're at a hunger level now compared to what they were at other points in your career. Well, hunger's gone. I might have put on a bit of weight, but I'm not that. Seeing that Phil's treat me to, to eat dinner tomorrow, so I might take him up on that. But, uh, no, listen, I, I do. I just throw darts. I don't really care. You know, as long as I have a game of darts and it's a straight game, then, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the win or the lose, the loss. It seemed a few years ago that people were talking about the R word retirement. It's not been mentioned in a long, long time now. Is that still the very, very distant future now? now? This is what happens when you work for press and TV. You've not got a frigging clue. I'll stop when I want to stop. You've not got a clue, honestly. You, don't have, you just think what you see is what you get. You've not got a clue. People have lives. Do you have a life? Do Some you have a life? Do you have a life? Do you have a life? Yeah. Well, it's nice to have a life. But if you're doing this constantly, you wouldn't have a life. You know, I know what I can do. I know what I can do, what I can't do. And at the end of the day, like you say, you're pundits. You've not got a clue. That's why they're sitting on the arses talking about darts instead of playing darts. Cheers, Gary. Thank you, Thank you very much. Gary, you were now I've got myself into trouble again, have I? <laughs> Sorry, just, just one more from me. You briefly touched on it, uh, Phil, there, about the publicity that Luke Humphreys has received. I spoke to a Karen Wilson snooker world champion last oh, week. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's he's called out the organisers for not being on the table one um, at certain tournaments, not getting publicity in that other place game. Do you think, being world champion, you almost deserve the right for certain well, privileges? It's not just being world champion. What has Luke won in the last two years? That's this is the, this is the thing. He has won just about everything. Well, since this last year, isn't he? Has he won just about everything? Apart from the European Champions yeah. and the Premier League. Right. So that's hat. So he's not just world champion. He's there for a reason. World champion was added onto his CV. You know, he's won so much more, and the boy gets looked over every time, which I think is a load of <laughs> to be honest. You know, he's deserved everything that he's worked for, everything that he's got, and just to talk about other players. Rubbish, absolute rubbish. How do you think they should go about handling it better? Well, just give him a bit of respect, you know, he's, he's never ever mentioned, it's always other people, you know. <laughs> but Luke, I think Luke just goes, yeah, yes. on, on you go. As long as they're talking about other people, the line lights off of him, so That's he can just carry on what he does. The and he's, he's handled it as well, but 
deep down he must be a bit cheesed off with it. You know, it's, it's a bit too modest, if anything. Nah, he just does what he does, you know, he plays darts and wins. And that's it.